Since 2018, when the IOM moved its central base to Benin City for better coordination of its efforts to stem the tide of illegal migration and human trafficking, we have come to better appreciate the work which this organization, particularly in fortifying migration governance to promote legal migration and support returnees and victims of illegal migration. But for the support, assistance, and cooperation from the IOM, the Edo State Government may not have been able to set up its task force to tackle human trafficking and irregular migration. We want to appreciate the effort of IOM, also the collaboration that we continue to receive. We know the harrowing experiences we had to go through working with your staff to receive returnees, resettle them, and reintegrate them into our communities. We will continue to appreciate you and to work with you until we are able to finally resolve the issues of human trafficking and irregular migration from our state. In 2016, we were confronted with the statistics of a large number of our young men and women who migrated illegally overseas and fell victim to human traffickers. It was indeed a challenging task to attempt to turn the tide. Edo State, at the time, was the epicenter of this disturbing trend, which had festered due to governance failure, among other factors. We are, however, resolute in tackling the challenge and found an incredible ally in the IOM. Through the Edo State Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons Law, which we set up with the assistance of IOM, we have built institutional mechanisms for checking the trend and also ensuring the reintegration of returnees back into our society. I want to thank you and continue to wish IOM and all our other partners success in this venture. Thank you.